for you. Good evening, ladies. How y'all doing tonight? Hello, it's good to see you. Hey, night three, night three. We have, we're so excited about the first two nights of our, our uh, relaunch week. Uh, and so tonight, tonight we are going to be talking to the woman that's representing our 70 year old group. I'm so excited. Uh, I have to tell you a little bit about my story with her. I actually was uh, stalking her when I met her. Well, I didn't even meet her at that time, but I happened to be in uh, Joanne Fabrics one day and I just saw this woman with this beautiful gray hair. And I just thought, uh, because I, this is when I was getting ready to start uh, Wise Women Slay. And so she, her, her hair attracted me to her and I kind of just peered around the corners and things like that. And I just so happened to be leaving right around the same time her and her daughter were leaving. And so I, uh, I and so I was just like, Lord, because I really did tell the Lord, I said, Lord, I really would like to meet these women. And so I said, Lord, if you want me to meet them, hook it up. So as I was, uh, they had left, I had left and I was at the, um, at the stoplight and Michelle, who's, uh, the, the daughter of the mother we're going to, the lady we're going to talk to tonight, she's a Mary Kay representative and she had her logo and her information about being a Mary Kay representative. And I said, that's it, Lord, that's it. So, you know, I, I may go into more of that, but I just wanted y'all to know because of her looks and the way she carried herself. I saw a woman that didn't mind embracing who she was. She was not afraid of her age. And so we're going to talk to her tonight. And I just want to welcome uh, to tonight's broadcast. Hi, Patricia Lewis. Hello, Nina. How are you tonight? I'm doing very well, thank you. Good, good. Well, I'm so happy you're with us. And I'm just excited about what you're going to share. We're going to talk about those same questions, everyone, that we talk with the uh, Monday night 50-year-old person, uh, Tuesday night 60, and now today's the 70-year-old person's story. And so, uh, first of all, Patricia, tell me, uh, how old are you within that 70-year-old range, if you don't mind? Within that range, I this year had my 78th birthday 78 yes oh wow that is awesome you don't look a day over 60. <laughs> well thank you <laughs> <laughs> and i'm serious you know like i like i was sharing with the audience i just found you to have such a presence and you and you weren't ashamed you were just when I saw you even as you were just walking through the uh, through the uh, different aisles and stuff there was such a presence on you that it's just like you, you were you represented to me that regal type of woman and like I said I had to meet you so I'm so glad I did we we've, we've become friends and we see each other she's been a part of other the other uh programs that I've had and so I've been so excited and we'll talk a little bit more about that later so Without further ado, let's talk about those questions. We've got the same questions, ladies, that we talk with the other ladies. So, uh, Patricia, tell me, uh, question number one, how did you feel on your birthday when you turned 70 or when you started approaching 70 or even as you have, since you're 78, um, during the 70 period from 70 on up how have you felt what did you feel like when you reached those those age that age first of all i was grateful to to live to 70 to see 70 and i was excited about that day it was hard to believe because you think you see yourself every day mm -hmm. and uh, but then you stop and think about how old you are and you say am i really uh, or where did those years go but I was really excited about it and grateful to God to see the age of 70. Uh, my family had a, a surprise party for me that day. And with family and friends, relatives, we had a wonderful time. It was a glorious day. Oh, wow. And so since you're now 78, uh, have you seen some changes in how you do life, how others treat you, anything? as you've turned from 70 on to now your 78th year? 
I, I see the changes that we all go through uh, physically, which is to be expected. But what I have learned is how you, how you personally deal with them. Okay. Uh, we, we accept these things. It brings along some challenges sometimes. We have to face these challenges. We have to make some adjustments in our life sometimes as to how we handle them. But we don't give up. We don't sit down and say, oh, I am this old or that old and just give up. Um, I've been retired for quite a number of years and I have learned to embrace that, re embrace my retirement, but to keep myself occupied and busy with other things. Okay, that sounds good. And actually, I, I kind of jumped ahead. That's kind of sounds like a takeaway. Well, we'll come back to that later. But that, that sounds really good. So question number two is, how old were you when you felt like you had to fight back against getting older? Uh, I don't know about fighting back because I do embrace it. I embrace my age. This is my age. This is the age I am. And God has, uh, through his mercy, allowed me to live to see this age. And I'm grateful for that. So the challenges that I meet from day to day, uh, you know, aches, pains, whatever they are, uh, those changes that your body go through, you just, you make adjustments, you make allowances. So, we, so if you have to move a little slower or walk a little slower or whatever adjustments you have to make. I believe that that is what you should do to uh, get through those days and those times. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, that's good because I think there has to be a resolve. I remember uh, now I'm 63, but I, I'm having problems in my knees. There are, they have arthritis in them. And I used to feel like I had to hurry up because I might be slowing somebody else up. And I had to be okay with, I'm going to have to walk a little slower, just yeah. like you said, yeah, the adjustment, right. mm -hmm. you know, and that doesn't diminish you, does it? No, it doesn't. And if I'm with someone and, and I have had to do that on occasion and they're walking a little fast, I say, I have to slow down. You know, I have to take it a little slower. I don't stop. I don't not do it, but I have to adjust my, uh, my movements. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know that, ladies, that's a that's an awesome thing when we don't we've come to a resolve, as Patricia's talking about, how we're not afraid to even take time, you know. We don't have to pretend that we're something that we're not. But that doesn't diminish us, correct? Would you say that? I would say that, yes. Yeah. Uh, embracing embracing your situation. Your present circumstances, I think, is all is what life is all about. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I, I really, I know there's a lot of women out there that are, and then I also know there's a lot of women who don't want to embrace that, and that's the hard part because, you know, you are where you are, you yeah. know, and we we can't turn back the hands of time, you know. But yeah, that's that's really good. I love that. I love that. So uh, question three. At what age did your family start thinking of you as an older person? Or what age did you start thinking of yourself as an older person? Do you recall? I still don't think of myself as an older person. Okay. <laughs> That's good. I, I'm, uh, I'm mellowed with age, but uh, okay. there are members of my family or a specific member of my family <laughs> who saw me as an older person at age between 60 and 65, who began to be concerned about, are you sure you should be doing this? Can you do that? Are you sure you should be going there? And uh, I had to tell them that I don't put those kind of restrictions on myself. Uh, I don't do things that aren't com I'm not comfortable with or that my body can't handle, but I don't tell myself, well, you can't do this or you can't do that. You give it, a, you give it an attempt and uh, if it works, great. And if it doesn't, you make adjustments. Okay. I love it. I love it. I love the fact that she said, I still don't think of myself, you know, because I, one thing I, I really don't like when, I don't know, it just bur it burns me. And I'm just being honest. It burns me when, when people dismiss us and like, I'll hear the term, she's 60 years young. I, I, I personally don't like the word 60 years that adding that young to it mm -hmm. only because it diminishes what I've gone through from age 
30, you know, it makes it seem like uh, those, my older years don't count. I don't know, that's my perception, but I, I, I hate that term. So I just love the fact that yeah. you don't consider yourself as an older person. I mean, as a older person in the sense that you are downtrodden and that you are, that you don't uh, have value anymore and things of that nature. Would, would that be a fair statement? That's, that's very correct. And, and I think it has a lot to do with how you see yourself. Uh, yeah. What others say, well, you know, they have their opinion, but it's how you, how you feel and how you see yourself that matters. Yeah, yeah, I love it, I love it. Okay, one more question. And we kind of talked about it, but I just want to make sure we get clear, clarity. What is your biggest takeaway so far at your age? My biggest takeaway is there are things that I might have done differently, but mm -hmm. my advice would be don't waste your youth, your young years. Uh, make the most of them, make the best of them. Uh, develop yourself spiritually. You need a foundation. And there are times, and I know that God got me through this, even in times when I did not even realize that he was getting me through this. When I look back, I know that he did. I know that his help was there with me and for me and for my family. Uh, mm. but, I, but make the most of it. And uh, don't just go through life. Live life. Experience life. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Uh, yeah, and I, and I, uh, one of my last, uh, we're going to talk about now, ladies, thank you for those answering all the questions. And now I just want to, let's, let's find out a little bit about Patricia, Patricia Lewis, and who she is. As a woman, uh, as all of the hats that she's worn, uh, one hat I know is that you're an entrepreneur, and you, you sell, uh, Jewelry, correct? Yes, I do. Um, jewelry design has been a part of my life for approximately about 20 years. And uh, I have had some successes with it. Uh, but it has just been a joy to do. It, it is uh, satisfying, rewarding that I make things that other people like and enjoy. That's a, that's a big part of it. Mm -hmm. the what's name, the name of your what's the name of your uh business the name of my business is uh gems of joy i make okay. custom one of a kind gemstone jewelry uh semi-precious gemstone uh necklaces bracelets earrings the lot um i do my own designs i choose all of my materials and uh, it's, it's just something that gives me a lot of pleasure and mm -hmm. it gives me something to do with my time uh if I feel bored or if I feel uh, there are not people around, I go and sit with my beads mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and be creative. Yeah. That's always something that's never going to leave us, you know, is our creativity. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What else would you want uh, this audience to know about you? Uh, I am a mother of four, mm -hmm. three sons, one daughter. I've uh, been retired for uh, almost 15 years. Uh, I have lived in California, lived in California for 10 years, 10 most beautiful years. I had some wonderful experiences in California. I enjoyed every day that I lived there <laughs> okay. and uh, had to come back uh, to Indianapolis. Indianapolis is my home. And I came back to Indianapolis uh, for, to help with family. So I've been here since, uh, back to Indianapolis since 2003. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm my, my daughter may be moving to, um, California. So when you said being enjoyed it every day, I just, it's like, okay, I might have to go with her too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Well, ladies, I just wanted, uh, first of all, um, Patricia, thank you, uh, for taking the time and sharing us a, a um, sharing your life with us tonight. Um, I'm really grateful that I know you and that uh, just like I, the days that I saw you when I first saw you, you still hold true to being that regal woman, that woman that that is, you really do exemplify the wise woman because you take your life in stride. You don't 
let people minimize you and you do it successfully. So thank you so much again for being a part. And ladies, thank you for listening tonight. Thank you, Patricia. I appreciate you. Thanks to you, Nina, for inviting me. Sure. We'll be talking with her as we go along through Wise Women Slay, uh, the other events. Um, I've got some things planned that I hope that she'll participate in. So again, we'll, we'll sign off and we'll see you all soon. Bye. Okay. <laughs> yeah.